welcome back to the crypto market updates channel in today's video i want to talk a little bit about scams because i came across one that is a bit disconcerting and of course i've myself fallen uh into scams in the past and so i wanted to make it this quick little video to talk a little bit about the different kinds of scams uh that are out there and uh to make you aware of them so you don't lose your hard-earned crypto cash to scammers i recently posted a video on my youtube channel on this channel um, about the 15% APR on a classic using your trust wallet. This was actually just yesterday. Um, haven't received too many views so far, only 12 views. So make sure to uh, go over, head over to that video, uh, have a look at this video. And uh, if you are a Luna Classic uh, holder, then you can head over to Trust Wallet. And I think right now Trust Wallet offers the highest uh, return on your Luna Classic staking. In any case, this morning I went over, also make sure to smash up the likes and subscribe to the channel, obviously, because it's much appreciated. Um, today I went over to check the comments and there was a comment by uh, Judy Adam, uh, gift payment of 3,500 USDT in OKX wallet. And there is a 12 word pass phrase uh, included in the comment, which was very odd and a little suspicious, but I decided to venture out and take a look at what it does. So naturally, um, out of curiosity, and I went over to have a look and uh, it's run on the OKX wallet. And of course I entered the password and it uh, it opens up to a wallet with about $1,300 inside of the wallet. And it's all in USDT as you can see, and uh, run on the Tron network. I tried sending the money out because why not? Um, and um, the app tells me that it's impossible to send because there is an insufficient amount of Tron inside the wallet. I tried swapping the USDT for another token, USDC. It's the same idea. It tells me that there isn't uh, is an insufficient amount of Tron in the wallet. Um, and so I went over to the website to check out the website uh, to have a look. And there are a couple of other videos, similar videos using uh, a different wallet. And within that this particular wallet, I looked at it as well, there are about 200, 300,000 dollars. On cryptocurrency uh, tracking platforms like CoinGecko or, <clears throat> or Coin Market Cap. And the crypto uh, is the same wallet well, losing a different seed as a nice for cryptocurrency. I didn't look at this where so it seems to an attacker thing. means you can't recover no. your crypto funds. And every time uh, I received the same response, uh, I was requested to send um, the require the necessary cryptocurrency in order to complete the transaction, even though these cryptocurrencies were inside. Actually, um, BitKeep notified me while OKX, the OKX wallet never uh, just told me that there is an insufficient amount of Tron uh, inside the wallet. BitKeep uh, notified me, notified me that uh, this token that I was trying to withdraw may be a um, honeypot token. And I've never heard of uh, what a honey, I've never heard of honeypot tokens. So I was curious and I went over to Chrome to Google and I started searching. So in today's video, I'm going to go over a few things, a few different scams that you may encounter while wrestling with the waters of the cryptocurrency um, spectrum market. And we will start with 
honeypot honeypot scams and how it uh, how to spot it this article is uh, posted by coin telegraph what is a honeypot scam and how to spot it a virtual trap lure attackers uh, to lure attackers so that you can uh, improve security policies policies is what honeypots aim for it's by security analysts or security developers in order to track in order in order to trap scammers but it seems like um, there are also scams that use this technique in order to um, scam money out of people's wallets a new trend appears to be gaining traction namely attackers are no longer looking for susceptible contracts but are adopting a more proactive strategy instead they aim to trick their victims into falling uh, into traps by sending out contracts that appear to be vulnerable but contain hidden traps honeypots are a term used to describe this unique sort of contract but that is but what is a honeypot Honeypots are smart contracts that appear to have a design issue that allows an arbitrary user to drain Ethereum, the native currency, from the contract if the user sends a particular quantity of Ethereum to the contract beforehand. However, when the user tries to exploit this apparent flaw, a trap door opens, a second yet unknown, preventing the Ether draining from succeeding. So what does the honeypot do the aim is uh, that the user focuses entirely on the visible weakness and ignores any signs that the contract has a second goal honeypots acts function because people are frequently easy deceived just as in other sort other sorts of fraud as a result people cannot always quantify risk in crypto cyber attacks like honeypots the user's cash will be imprisoned and only the honeypot creator attacker will be able to recover them basically uh like in the uh, okx app there is an amount of money inside the app that seems to be legit uh, and when you try to withdraw it the app lets you know that there is a requirement of uh currency in order to uh, send the crypto inside the wallet over a certain blockchain network crypto network and then basically you would be required to send that currency over into the wallet in hopes of withdrawing what's already there which is not actually there and you just send uh, crypto into the wallet which then gets drained by the hacker by the attacker by the scammer and you lose your crypto without gaining anything in return. Um, and the vulnerability that's talked about is obviously the 12 uh, word seed phrase that is given to you by this uh, character here, Jody Adam. And I'm sure this is not the only one and it's not gonna be the last one. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of other um, channels or sources that will post the same exact same thing. So be vigilant, be careful because you can lose all your money. The second attack that was most used in the recent times was the ice fishing attack. The most prevalent kind of attack in May was the, call, the so called ice fishing technique, which uh, accounted for 55.8% of all attacks reg registered by Forda. Unlike the more obvious or well known phishing attacks, ice fishing is a play on the more common phishing attacks seen across the web. This type does not aim directly for user private information. Instead, uh, an ice fishing tricks a victim into signing a malicious blockchain transaction that opens access to the victim's wallet so the attacker can steal all the money. In such cases, victims are often uh, lured into phishing websites designed to mimic real crypto services. Basically, you'd be asked to go to a uh, website uh, maybe a free token giveaway token giveaway or whatever and uh, in order to do that obviously you have to send that token over a blockchain right so uh, you would go and use your wallet whatever wallet you use um, and you would have to sign a contract to cover the transaction fees which would be whatever the transaction fees are for that particular blockchain uh, and once you sign a contract um, your funds from your wallet would be drained uh, into the scammer's wallet rather than 
receiving the drop as promised you would be losing all of your money so that's the ice fishing scam so be careful on that don't uh, sign any contract don't fall any for any free token scams uh, if companies if, if projects decide to do airdrops they only require you to register with them i guess or perform some some kind of uh, duties either promoting the project or whatever in any case you would have to provide them with your uh, crypto wallet address only and you would not uh, and and they would contact you directly i guess but it would be done through the project's main website and uh, there are no uh, uh, no other ways of, of receiving airdrops uh, or uh, companies uh, project uh, airdrop randomly to random people on their own and so you have tokens appear in your wallet in which case also uh, I would suggest there's a name for that too I forget what it's called but uh, when you have random tokens appear in your wallet also be careful um, find out what the token is because it could be a scam token in the sense that uh, same as the ice fishing scam if you try to sell that particular token that's been airdropped into your wallet you will also have to <clears throat> sign a contract uh, a blockchain contract uh, allowing the transaction to take place and it just may be that you're again opening up a floodgate of uh, scammers trying to drain your money from your wallet so be careful about uh, airdrops and uh, any other potential free deliveries of tokens that you might be willing to sign. Kaspersky posted a uh, pretty thorough article on common cryptocurrency scams and how to avoid them. The most common one, the, the oldest one, is the phishing scam. The phishing scams, crypto uh, phishing scams often target information relating to uh, online wallets. Scammers target crypto wallets, private keys, which are required to access funds within the wallet. Method of working is similar to other phishing attempts and related to the fake websites described above. They send an email to lure recipients to a specially created website asking them to enter private key information. Once the attackers have acquired this information, they steal the cryptocurrency in those wallets. So whenever you use an online wallet, make sure that it is the actual wallet. There are plenty of um, fake websites that pretend to be the wallet that, um, that you have and you end up going and entering your private keys or your, your uh, mnemonic phrase into into the fake wallet and of course the next thing you know all your uh, currency is gone so that's the most common one. i would suggest go over and have a look at uh, kaspersky's at this i uh, will post the link below this video um, and read through it um, it talks about phishing scams pump and dump schemes fake apps fake celebrity endorsements those happen a lot uh, jake paul has an ongoing streak of fake celebrity endorsements giveaway scams blackmail and extortion scams cloud mining scams fraudulent initial point offerings icos so um i will post the link in the video make sure to go check it out because it's uh it's a very important read it's something that you need to be aware of because, uh, yeah like i said this this is uh quite <clears throat> quite dodgy it's a new form of scam i've never seen it because it actually allows you to enter the wallet it gives you the seat phrase and you can enter the wallet and you can see the money inside of course you know human nature we're all greedies if you do make the mistake of sending uh crypto into into the wallet in order to cover the transaction fees then you stand to lose big time so don't do it all right, that's it for this video. Um, if this was informative, and I hope it was, then make sure to smash up the likes. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, the channel is almost at a 500 uh, subscribers, which is great. I still need a few more watch hours till um, to the first uh, partner program. Uh, YouTube kind of divided, I guess they did it for smaller YouTubers, uh, divided introduced a new partnership program that slices the original uh, requirements in half so it makes it a little bit easier for smaller YouTube channels to join the program so if this video was informative then make sure to share it with a wider audience thank you for supporting the channel and of course you know 
come back for the next video. Bye-bye.